How did you figure you were going to start a car company and be successful at it? Well, I, I didn't really think Tesla would be successful. I thought we would most likely fail. But I thought that we at least uh, could address the false perception that people had that an electric car had to be ugly and slow and and boring like a golf cart. But you say you didn't expect the company to be successful? Then why try? If something's important enough, you should try, even if you, the probable outcome is failure. Now is the time to take risk. As you get older, your obligations increase. So, you, the, and once you have a family, you start taking risk, not just for yourself, but for your family as well. It gets much harder to uh, do things that might not work out. Um, so now is the time to do that. Uh, before you, before you have those obligations. So I would, I would encourage you to take risks now, do something bold, um, you won't regret it. So many people tried to talk me out of starting a ride company, it was, it was crazy. One good friend of mine collected a whole series of videos of rockets blowing up and made me watch those. He just didn't want me to lose all my money. We're doing these things that uh, seem unlikely to succeed and we've been fortunate and at least thus far they have succeeded. Really liking what you do, what, whatever area that you get into, um, given that you know, even if you're, if you're the best the best, there's always a chance of failure. So I think it's important that you really like whatever you're doing. Uh, if, if you don't like it, life is too short. If you like what you're doing, you think about it even when you're not working. I mean, you, you're, it'll just, it, it's, it's something that your mind is drawn to. Um, and, and if you don't like it, you, you just really can't make it work, I think. Third failure in a row, mm -hmm. did you think, I need to pack this in? Never. Why not? I don't ever give up. I'd have to be dead or completely incapacitated. Or unusually fearless and willing to go in the face of other people telling you something is crazy. And I know a lot of pretty crazy people, you still stand out. Uh, where does that come from or how do you think about making a decision when everyone tells you this is a crazy idea? Or where do you get the internal strength to do that? Well, first of all, I'd say I actually think I, I, think I fear, feel fear quite strongly. Um, so it's not as though I just have the absence of fear. I, I feel it quite strongly. Um, but there are just times when something is important enough, you believe in it enough, that you, you do it in spite of the fear. So speaking so, of important things. Like people shouldn't think, I, 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 I should, people shouldn't think, well, I feel fear about this and therefore I shouldn't do it. Um, it's normal to, be, to feel fear. Like you'd have to, there'd be something mentally wrong if you didn't feel fear. Um, so you just feel it and let the importance of it try to do that. Yeah, I, you know, I, actually, something that can be helpful is fatalism, uh, to some degree. Um, if you just if you just accept the probabilities, um, then that diminishes fear. Uh, so, um, when starting SpaceX, I thought the odds of success were less than ten percent, um, and I just accepted that actually probably I would just lose lose everything. Um, but that maybe we would make some progress if we could just move the ball forward, even if we died, maybe some other company could pick up the baton and move and keep moving it forward. Um, so that would still do some good. Um, yeah, same with Tesla. I thought you know, the odds of a car company succeeding were extremely low.